Uh, we first noticed something was wrong when Patches got like a little tiny bump on her head, but our vet had thought that maybe it was like a calcium deposit or whatever, and it was that way for a couple years, and then it just started growing, and when it started growing, that's what brought us to Cornell. Okay, so Patches came to us with a very large tumor of the skull. Um, it's something called a multilobular osteochondroma of bone, which is a good tumor in the sense that it uh, tends to be relatively slow to spread elsewhere, but can definitely be, uh, become locally very large. Um, the other nice thing about it as a tumour is that um, you can typically remove it with fairly narrow margins. And because Patchy's tumour was so large, that, that was helpful. Um, Patchy's was really uh, disfigured by this growth. It had occupied a very large proportion of the surface of her skull um, and was growing out from the skull, but also starting to grow in towards the brain. And the most um, surgically challenging thing about this was that in removing this tumour, we knew that we were going to be uh, needing to remove around 70% of the dorsal surface of the skull. And that would essentially leave the brain unprotected over a very large area. Uh, my feelings when we were going into the first surgery, we were very apprehensive because we weren't sure if she was going to be able to have surgery or not. So we had to have an MRI um, to see if she was going to be able to have the surgery. So we were faced with either she was going to have surgery or she was going to be put down. So. And so the, the um, really unique thing about this surgery was it's the first description that we are aware of of using a custom printed 3D implant to reconstruct the skull. Um, and uh, we were very fortunate in having Dr. Oblak uh, from Ontario to help us with this, as well as the team up in Ontario. Our approach to this was very much a collaborative effort. Um, we enlisted the resources of an external company to help us produce the plate. Um, Dr. Oblak, who is a surgeon boarded in oncology, she's an oncologic fellow, came down to assist with the surgery. There was myself and all the other surgical team members here from the soft tissue department at Cornell. Um, and all of us worked together in a, a surgery of several hours length to remove the primary tumour with the correct margin that then allowed the um, custom implant to be seated into place. When we saw her post-op, the doctors warned us that she, she was going to be swollen in the face and she was going to look bad, but she, she came out happy to see us and licking my face and she looked good. She looked, she looked really good. She didn't have a big lump on her head anymore, so, and she was really happy. So um, the, the best thing about all of this, I mean, Patches was under anesthesia probably for about four or five hours and she woke up completely normally. Um, she was walking in, walking around her cage in ICU. Half an hour later, she ate well that night. We're very happy with how she's doing and how well she's doing. And we hope that, you know, her cancer surgery will maybe help in the future with cancer research.